digital purchase order. This is a quick introduction on how to use the chart of accounts feature. This can be very useful, especially if you integrate purchase orders into an accounting system where you need to categorize each item with a certain account code. To activate this feature, please go to the Administration section and select the Chart of Accounts tab. At the top, you can add a new account by creating an account name and a numerical account code. If you work with subcategories, you can assign this new code to an existing parent account. Once this is finished, you can decide at the top how you would like to display your dataset. You can either show just the item name, just the numerical code, or both. In addition, you can lock the whole account code list to prevent users from using account codes that are not part of this list. If you have a large number of account codes, manual data entry may be too time-consuming. Therefore, we recommend using our data import sheet. You can find it in the administration section in the import tab. Simply download the spreadsheet, copy and paste all relevant information into it, and send it to support at digitalpurchaseorder.com. We will then take care of the rest. Now you are able to assign every item of a PO to your account codes. Simply create a new PO, go to the items section, and start typing the account code or account name for an item. DPO will suggest matching results in a drop-down list. If you see the account code field in gray, you have no permission to enter or edit account codes. In this case, please ask your PO book administrator to give you these rights by going to the User tab in the Administration section. If you have any further questions, please send us an email to support at digitalpurchaseorder.com or give us a call on 1-888-376-7254. We can also arrange a demo appointment with you. Simply contact us via email and we will schedule a call at your earliest convenience. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Please also check out our other video tutorials on the main tutorial page.